Okay, I'm bored today, so I figured I'd make another video. Uh, today I'm just going to show you how I make a bacon, egg, and cheese sandwich. And, uh, yeah, so let's go ahead and do that. We have the bacon, we have the eggs, we have the cheese, and we have the bread, but I haven't opened it yet. So, uh, let's go ahead and do the first thing, which is get the bacon and put it on this thing, which I think is called a griddle. Alrighty, so you have the bacon on the griddle. I usually just make three pieces. And while that is starting to cook, I'm going to go ahead and crack these eggs over here and mix them into this bowl. Okay, so those have been cracked and mixed. So then we're going to come back over here to our bacon, which is still sizzling. I'm going to try and hold the phone away a good distance so it does not get grease on it from the popping bacon. And I have these tongs that I like to use to flip my bacon with. Uh, how long you cook your bacon just depends on if you like it chewy or if you like it crunchy, so long as it's fully cooked. And like for a bacon, egg, and cheese sandwich, usually we want to use like regular bacon or like maple bacon or something like that. It's more breakfasty. Uh, I like the only kind of bacon I have right now is like peppercorn bacon, which which is fine. Any bacon will do. Just not turkey bacon. Turkey bacon is gross. Alright, so I'm going to let this cook for a little bit. And then I will be back with uh, what to do with the eggs. Okay, so we got the bacon all done. And I got it here on the paper towels to soak up some of that extra grease. And so I got another paper towel. I'm just going to... Kind of lay down and press down on top of it, get more of that grease, and I'm just going to let that kind of soak up just for a little bit. And the next thing we are going to do is we are going to drain the excess grease out of our pan. Which we're going to carefully take our pan over here. And you don't want to pour grease down the sink, that's pretty well known. So I have a Sprite can that I cut the top of. So we're just going to pour that in there. Yeah, it makes a scary popping sound. Alright. So we'll just let that do its thing. Hopefully it doesn't explode. Why is it moving? Okay, we're just going to let that chill and cool. And when it's cool and all, you know, gross and greasy, we can toss that in the trash. Right now we're going to bring our pan back over here. And the rest of the grease is going to stay in the pan because that's going to help us with our eggs. So we're going to turn this heat back on. Okay. Oh, and I need to grab my spatula. Where's my spatula? There it is. Darn it, it's dirty. Uh, one second while I clean my favorite spatula. Okay, so I've cleaned my favorite spatula, so what we're going to do here now is I have the eggs, and I'm just going to pour that in the middle. I'm going to put that in the sink. All right, and then I have my piece of cheese, cheese, and I'm going to lay that down right in the middle. Okay, now I have my spatula. I'm going to give this just a moment. Okay, it shouldn't take too long. Okay, and as that cooks, I'm just going to kind of fold it over the cheese. That way it'll make a nice square shape that will fit nicely on my sandwich. There we go. I'm going to let that cook for a second. And usually, I need to, like, to flip this good, I usually have to use two spatulas. So I might have to put my phone down so that I can actually flip this. But I will attempt to not have to do that. So, let's see, let's get that good. And then let's go. Ah. So close. Well, no. no. That's good. Okay, yeah, see? I got it. I don't need no other spatula. Okay, 
Okay, and I will let that sit there for just a second. Put that on low just for a moment. Dad, nabbit, I should have grabbed the bread. I didn't open the bread! Okay, so one second while I open the bread. Alright, bread is open and I got some on a plate. So I'm gonna scrape this up here. Just flip it one more time just for good measure. On a spatula ruler. Okay, and I'm gonna put this just nicely right there. Go ahead and turn this off. And let's make sure all that extra grease is all mopped up. Oh, just a sink full of dirty dishes. Okay, and I'm gonna throw this away. I'm not gonna show you my trash can. Alright, then I like to fold this over and uh, I said you could do like crunchy or chewy. Uh, I made the bacon a little more crunchy because I, I like it chewy, I prefer it chewy. But on a sandwich, when your bacon is chewy, it just all wants to come out of the sandwich at once and just fall, you know, on the floor. And uh, that's no fun if you want to eat it. So I made it crunchy so when you bite into it, it, you know... You can actually bite into it and it doesn't like stretch and not want to do what it's supposed to. Okay, so let's move that. And then there's that. And then in the middle. And uh, there we have how I make a bacon, egg, and cheese sandwich. And I guess I will try and take the first bite while holding my phone. Oh, fuck. Mm. Hot. Oh, that's not what it's supposed to cool. Mm -hmm. All right. <clears throat> yes, very good. Next time, though, wait for it to cool down a little bit before you decide to take a bite. <clears throat> Other than that, a uh, perfect sandwich. I like how the, the egg and the cheese came out in that almost perfect square. Bacon, not too chewy. I just went right through it, and I was able to bite through it without any um, bacon falling on the floor. I did it one-handed, so that's also impressive. So, um, thank you for watching. Make your own sandwich, try and do the egg cheese thing, and uh, stay indoors and stay safe. Bye!